people, what is up? How you doing? Did you guys have a good weekend? I hope you did because I'm feeling good like I always am because there are, because this is the first of two editions of Swag Looks Live, the mobile game show where you win big money from the comfort of your phone. What is up, friends? How you doing today? I'm your host for the day, of course, Mr. Shody Mac, the Swag King, and my favorite day, Shola Balo, you know my real name. Uh, I love watching you win money, but I'm going to test your knowledge a little bit to make you earn it because I can't just give it away. So how, please, how's the prize looking? Let's see what it is. You see that right there? That is five hundred dollars, and you will have your sh and you will win your share by correctly answering ten multiple choice questions about anything and everything. All right, it's easy. Also, I know you love those bonus SB, and I'll have some for you later on in the game. But just be on the lookout for an SB icon in the top left-hand corner of the screen and get those questions right. Now, even if you're eliminated, you can still win them. But I keep telling you this, and I tell you this all the time. You have to claim them after the game to keep them, all right? So please do that for me. Can you do that for me? All right, I knew you could. We have uh, over 9,900 of you in the game, and the number keeps climbing up. So that's what I want to see. You guys are going to kill this game today, all right? Because we have not only one, but two games. So you have a lot of chances to do well. So that is what we're going to do. We're at 10,000 now, so the comments are gone, and I'm getting right into it with the first question of the day. So question one, let's go. Which of these mattress sizes is the largest? Full, California King, or Twin? The largest. All right, so look, there's nothing better than a really big bed to just lay on for a nice rest. You know what I'm saying? And of these three, if you want the king of all mattress sizes, you need that California King bed, okay? 9,400, seven of you guys got it right, and you're singing that Rihanna song. In this California king bed with 10,000 miles apart. You guys know that song, don't you? That was a hit, all right? It came out some years ago, but that was a hit, so she knew this question would come up. That's why she made the song. Hey, Rihanna. Next question, you guys. Uh, question two. Elon Musk is the founder of what car company? Ford, Tesla, or Pujo? What car company? All right, all right. So in his quest to become an industry disruptor, Elon Musk created a line of all luxury cars that became the hottest auto trend. The Tesla. Tesla, of course. 8,758 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that Tesla was the correct answer. I mean, honestly, you guys, Tesla is everywhere. If you live, um, I live in LA, right? We're in LA. Everywhere you go, there's a Tesla. It's like people love Tesla. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, they're cool, you know, but... Everyone has a Tesla, especially the one with the doors where it's like an X or whatever. Model X. What is it called? Gullwing doors. Gullwing doors. That's what they're called. Not a fan, but hey, cool for you guys. All right, next question. Question three. Chicago is famous for its deep dish version of what Italian food? Spaghetti, ravioli, or pizza? All right, all right, all right. What is it? All right, so... People always debate whether the New York or Chicago version of this food is superior, but they're not the same. Since deep dish pizza is more of a knife and fork food. You heard what I said. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza is the answer. 8,616 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that Chicago is famous for deep dish pizza, which I've never had. But I got to say, it sounds real good. All right. I know it's a very heavy pizza, so I need to try it out. Now, I will say, though, here in the studio, I took a little poll, and apparently they're digging the New York-style pizza more than the deep-dish pizza. But, hey, I think deep-dish sounds more interesting. I'll have to try and let you guys know what I think. Moving on to the next question, question four. Who is the chief executive officer of WWE? The Rock, Vince McMahon, or Ted Turner? For years, he appeared to be just a play-by-play -play man for the World Wrestling Federation, but he was the heir to a wrestling empire. When I say empire, believe me, I mean empire. I'm talking about the billionaire himself, Mr. Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon is the answer. 7,460 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that Vince McMahon was the answer. You also might be shocked like how I was. I was doing a little research on him last night, and um, I saw that he was worth two point something billion dollars. Or was it three? Anyways, we know he's rich. Very, very rich. It's, that's insane, isn't it? 
Also, I was having a little conversation about whether wrestling is real or fake, but I won't go there. All right, next question. Question five. In sports, what is the term for the limit that teams can spend on their roster? Luxury tax, mid-level exception, or salary cap? All right, so look, if you've been following the NBA offseason, all of the contracts and numbers around salaries can be confusing, but the limit set by the league is called the salary cap. You got to cap that salary somewhere. Salary cap is the answer. 6,326 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that the salary cap is what it's called. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys chose salary cap. A good amount of you chose mid-level exception. Only, I mean, 8%, 12%. So the majority of you guys know a salary cap. My question is, salary cap, these players make a lot of money. Not everyone. I know that, like, there's always a couple players that get, like, way more than everyone else. But can you imagine that, like, you can only cap the salary at, like, $150 million. You're like, oh, okay. That's so much money. It's amazing. Anyways, next question. Question six. Pikachu, Charizard, and Jigglypuff are characters from what game series? Pokemon, Digimon, or Final Fantasy? What game series? All right, so of all the game trends that have come and gone, this one has stayed and grown from a Nintendo game to an animated series and feature films. I'm telling you, this has been around forever, and it's going to stick around. It's Pokemon. Pokemon is the answer. Ooh, 99.3% of you guys got that one right. You guys are all about that Pokemon. E, A, uh, do your winning dance. Ooh, everyone has a winning dance, you know what I mean? Do your win. Hal's behind the camera doing the Hal dance, you know, because that's his winning dance. Uh, let's move on to the next question, which is question seven. A sculptural work called The Gates of Hell featured the first version of what famous piece? The Thinker, The Kiss, or Justice? Now, the original version of this piece was only 70 centimeters tall, but it was the central component of the larger work. And in 1904, Rodin made the larger version of The Thinker that we all know. The Thinker is the answer. 3,799 of you guys got that one right, but this is the time where I'll tell you to rejoin, rejoin, rejoin. I gotta say, you guys have been doing really well, by the way. Uh, it took the question seven for you guys to get to one that really kind of took you out, but it's fine because you're rejoining. We have over 1,600 of you guys who have rejoined, over 1,200 for free. That's what I like to see, you know what I'm saying? Who doesn't like free stuff? So let's keep up the good work, all right? Moving on to the next question where we have two bonus SB. Question eight. Angela Merkel is chancellor of which country? France, Austria, or Germany? All right, so look, she's held the post for 14 years and is considered the de facto leader of the European Union, although she was elected by and serves the citizens of Germany. Germany is the answer. 4,263 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that Germany was the correct answer. Got to say something real quick. You see her name is spelled Angela, but it's Angela. Because I'm sure some of you guys were reading like, wait, what? Is it? I thought the same thing. It's Angela Merkel. I'm being honest, you know. Sometimes the way we spell our names, even my name is spelled. It's not spelled phonetically. It's spelled the Sola, but it's really De Shola. Okay, you know, I understand the, the struggle. I understand. All right, next question worth two bonus SB. Here's question nine. What color is associated with envy? Yellow, green, or red? All right, so this association goes back as far as ancient Greece, where people believed that envy was a result of the body producing too much bile, you know, bile, which turns your skin slightly green. Mm, wow, the smell. 4,358 of you guys got the one right. You made it this far, and you're ready for our final question. Guess who's back? Ooh, back again. I, I'm back. Tell a friend. You guys remember that song by Eminem? Guess who's back? Anyways, all right, if you had fun playing this game, tell your friends all about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link. If people sign up with it, 
you'll get a free rejoin and we all love free rejoins also don't go anywhere people because i've got another game for you today with a one thousand dollar grand prize at 8 p.m eastern time 5 p.m pacific time and i hope to see you there okay am i gonna see you there i know i'm gonna see you there all right now how would you like the convenience of having your groceries delivered right to your door ready to go well give schwann's a try you can choose from over 300 premium quality foods and take the hassle out of your meal planning if you try today, you'll get 50% off your first order of $35 or more. Plus, you get 5,500 SB. Yes, you heard me correct, 5,500. Now, you have to be a U.S. player and a first-time Schwann's customer to qualify. So make sure to check it out after the game. I'm telling you, you guys, we all live busy lives. We all live busy lives. So the convenience of having your groceries delivered to your house is amazing. I've done it many times, and believe me, it's the best thing ever, okay? Let's take a deep breath. One more, one more. Sometimes you need two deep breaths. All right, final question. Worth two bonus SB. Here's question 10. What brand of lollipop has candy inside the lollipop? Tootsie Pop, Ring Pops, or Dum Dums? <laughs> the moment of truth. <laughs> All right, so I don't care what the wise old owl said. He didn't actually figure out the number of licks it took to get to the center of the correct answer. The Tootsie Pop. Tootsie Pops is the correct answer. 4,225 of you guys knew that answer. And guess what? You're splitting our grand prize. One, two, three. That's what he said. Uh, 12 SB is what you're going home with. What's up to all 4,225 of you winners? Hello, Sean McGraw, Troy 37, Delta Blues 2, and Steven T713, to name a few. I want to say congratulations to all of you who are splitting our grand prize today. You're going to be getting your prize in the form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and literally hundreds of other places. We did it, folks. That was a good time, wasn't it? That was such a good time. But guess what? I'm not done yet, so you need to stay there. Stay there. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to be back with another one for you in just a few. So I'm Deshola by Logan, and this is Swagbucks Live. I'll see you guys in a sec.